Hello, welcome to Be The Magician. My name is Brandon and welcome to my channel. So you are in for a treat because this trick I'm about to show you, I didn't want to share. This is one of my very own, uh, what I've created. Well, talk about created, I think I've created this, but probably 10 years ago, some, somebody might have already come up with it. But I came up with this. I've got so many different routines of it. I'm just gonna show you the basic routine and if you like it, I can sh I can show you more routines you can do with this trick. So let me show you exactly what this looks like. So this is what it looks like. It is a normal pack of playing cards. And like I said, this is just gonna be the basic trick you can do with it. But like I said, I've come up with so many different applications. Uh, so yeah, let me show you. So a card's gonna get selected. Just for example, we're gonna use the Ace of Hearts, okay? The Ace of Hearts, that's the cards we're gonna use. And we'll give them a quick cut and a shuffle as well. And I know magicians who was probably watching this, but I probably control the card to the bottom or to the top, which I haven't. But to locate that card, all I have to do is just spread the cards and you can see exactly where it came out right here. It's in fact the Ace of Hearts. So this is not a gimmick deck. You can use any deck to do this trick. It's my move, I can, well, I'm saying it's my move I come up with it. Probably, like I said, 10 years ago, someone could have come up with it 10 years ago. So, but this is mine. This is my little baby. I love this. And today I'm gonna to show you exactly how this works. Okay, so this is the explanation of the B spread. I call it the B spread because that's my initials, Brandon Ellis' spread. Um, so I'm gonna show you the move first, okay? So this is what's happening in slow motion. So if you can ribbon spread, you're not gonna do a normal ribbon spread. It's nothing like that. What you're gonna do is, your thumb's gonna go on the bottom right side and your uh, middle finger on the top left side, like so. And your index finger is gonna kick a card out while you're spreading the cards. Yes, it is a bit of a challenge trick, but if you master it, it will look amazing. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna just spread the cards and then basically your index finger is gonna kick out while you finish spreading. That is the whole trick in one, in like within two minutes of talking, okay? So I'll show you the finger placements again. So what's happening is, even this position, your thumb's hitting the bottom right, middle finger on the top right, like so. And you're going to kick the card out with your index finger. Your index finger is on the top right side here. And you're just gonna basically extend your index finger out, just like so. So when you've got that, okay, if you do kick it quite fast, it's gonna, I'm not gonna do it too hard, but it will, it will, it will jump, okay? It will kick out. So let me just move that card. So we're here. And what you're doing is the cards, you're gonna place the cards down and your index finger with your next thing, you are pushing the, the cards down and then you're gonna spread. And when you're ready to kick, you're gonna kick your index finger out and carry on spreading. Okay, do that again. So you're hitting this position. Index finger is ready to do the kick. Your thumb, uh, the deck's going down on the table. And your index finger is pushing down on the deck and you're gonna spread the cards. And when you're ready to kick, you're gonna kick your index finger out and carry on spreading. So do that at speed, so you can see it again. It should look something like this. Beg your pardon, <laughs> let me do that again. It should look something like this. Okay, so it looks like it just jumps out. And what's so good, when you do it, it looks like it's actually come, come from this part of the pack. And it just looks like the car just jumps out. So that's the move you need to learn. But now, obviously, controlling the card to the top. If you already know your own way to get a card to the top, brilliant. If you don't, I will show you a very quick way. Let's say we choose the three of spades. Let's take that card out. Let's say we choose the three of spades, and we're gonna place a card in the center. I've already taught this on a previous video before. The card goes in, and you're gonna place everything on top, but keep that pinky break. Okay, so the card is 
is here. You're gonna cut the cards from the top part till you hit your break. Now the card is on top. When the card is on top, then you can get into your position like so. Middle finger and thumb, index finger on here. You're gonna spread the cards and then you're gonna kick like so. So it's gonna spivel out while you spread. And that is it. I, I know this is a very challenging trick to do, um, but when, when you hit it, it just looks so good. It looks like it just jumps out. It looks like there's a gimmick, you're using a gimmick deck. But practice it, and if you get it, and you do get it down well, I'd be so happy for you to tell me, just say, yeah, Brandon, I can do it. And I'd want to see you, I would want to see you doing it, uh, just so I can see the people doing one of my own tricks. Okay, like I've just said, I know this is not the easiest move to learn. I know that. It took me a while to get it down, but I've always, always wanted to be able to spread the cards and a card to shoot out without using any gimmicks. And this is the way, this is what I came up with. I didn't want to teach it, but I'd rather people learn it and like it and want to show their magician friends or want to go out and perform it and make a card jump out because if you guys are going to use it, I want you to use some of my material and that would just mean a lot to me if you did. You might try and start doing this route, doing this move and you'll be like, oh, I can't, I can't get it. Don't give up with it. Do not give up with it. It's not the easiest move. After you've done it a hundred times, it's just going to come second nature. It's just going to, it's going to be super easy to do. So don't give up with the move. If you do like this move and you've mastered it, there is so, like I said, there's so many different applications, so many tricks you can do with it. So if you know the, uh, know the car where it spins out of the pack, you can do it that way, uh, but you can actually, because I think that looks quite obvious where the car jumps out. It looks like it's coming from the back, which it is. This one, you riffle the uh, side of the pack and basically do the exact same move and it looks like it comes out of the middle. I didn't know how that looked because the cards are a bit of an angle, but there's so many different routines I came up using that one move. So if it is something you want to learn and learn the more routines of this move, let me know and I can get that sorted for you guys, not a problem. But anyway, Brandon, I'm going to stop rambling, just say goodbye, which I'm doing right now. Like, please hit that like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.